guys, Foxit here. Today I want to talk about the new patch notes and the new supply drop weapons that were added to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I'm not going to discuss all the changes that were made, just the major changes. Uh, firstly, the CUDA and the VMP were nerfed. These, in my opinion, were the two best SMGs in the game. For the CUDA they reduced the 3 and 5 shot kill range, and for the VMP they gave it more recoil. They also buffed the Vespa, they gave it less recoil and it's slowly moving back to how the Vespa was at launch, it had not a lot of recoil. So they also buffed the Man of War, they gave it a faster reload speed and faster ADS time, but this is not really noticeable in game, so I wouldn't really mind it. They buffed the Locust, it's now a one shot kill to the stomach. Firstly it was only to the chest I believe, chest up, now it's stomach up, so that's uh, good of course. They buffed the HG40, they gave it an increased 3 shot kill range, so uh, for the people who have the HG40 it's good because the 3 shot kill range wasn't very long, but uh, for the people who don't have it, it kind of sucks because they buffed a the weapon that they don't have. So let's move on to the MX Camran. They increased the reload speed, they give it less recoil and a tighter hip fire. The recoil is not really noticeable in my opinion and the reload speed neither so I wouldn't really mind it. For the FFAR they give it less recoil, a tighter hip fire and a faster ADS speed. I haven't played with the FFAR since the buff so uh, I want to check that out. They buffed the RSA interdiction, now it's a one shot kill to the arms and abdomen. And uh, that's a good thing because the RZ interdiction first was really like a hit marker machine, but uh, they now buffed it and it's better. I will leave a link to the official patch notes in the description, so if you want to check them out, you can. Uh, but now I want to talk about the new weapons that were added to the black market. Uh, they added the Peacekeeper Mark II, the R70 Ajax, and the DBS R50 as ranged weapons. For the melee weapons, they added the Nunchucks and the Enforcer. The Peacekeeper Mark II is a remake of the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2. It's now in the AR category, in Black Ops 2 it was in the Submachine Gun category I believe. It has low recoil, low damage and it's excellent range. It has very quick ADS and sprint out time. So it's like between the Assault Rifle and the SMG category. And it's like the ICR, but it's better or just as good on every front, so I think if you want to go for a long range uh, assault rifle with low recoil, the Peacekeeper Mark II is definitely better than the ICR. They also added the R70 Ajax, it's an uh, LMG and it's like the BRM is the man of war in the LMG mode and the Dingo is the HK30 in the LMG mode, this is like the ICR1 in the LMG mode. It prints its own ammo right into the magazine so you won't have to reload Ever. But it prints very slow, it uh, takes like 15 seconds to print an entire magazine, so I think they need, maybe need to buff that a little bit. So we also have the DBSR50, that's a new sniper rifle that was added. And though it sounds like the DSR from Black Ops 2, it's not. DBSR stands for Double Barrel Sniper Rifle, and I don't think it has anything to do with the DSR from Black Ops 2. Uh, you can shoot twice before having to reach him, but it's a double barrel sniper rifle. But it does get hit markers, it does get one shot kills too, but you have to aim very high. But seeing the fact that you can quickly follow up a shot, it's pretty good. So uh, that's everything I wanted to say about the new patch notes and the new weapons that were added to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.